After 16 distinguished seasons at Borussia Dortmund, the black and yellow's goalkeeping legend Roman Weidenfeller has decided to call time on his professional career. But after such an outstanding one, he deserves to go out on a high. So this evening, in front of 70,000-plus adoring fans, Roman Weidenfeller and friends will take on an all-star Dortmund team coached by Jurgen Klopp. And as expected, the all-stars not doing the friends any favours at all in this opening phase. Oh! Roman Weidenfeller has to watch that one sail past him. Nearly 150 clean sheets for Dortmund, but not today. Jurgen Klopp not seeming uh, to know how he's going to sort this one out. Maybe Lukas Podolski can help him. It's the ball back from Jeff Strasser, and Podolski scores like he did last time he was here in a friendly against England. And funnily enough, Weidenfeller got his... Germany debut in a friendly against that same country. You never forget the concentration needed, regardless of how old you are. It's another build up from the All Stars. They've only cleared it as far as Jan Koller. Oh, Jan Koller didn't hit that as well as he would have liked. Ebi Smolarek was there to save his blushes. Da Silva picks up the ball on the edge of the box. He's gone for a curler. And Roman Weidenfeller shows that he's still got it. Thumbs up from his old teammates. De Silva only ever scored one Bundesliga goal for Dortmund in his time there. Mohamed Zidane powers the ball past his old keeper. And he almost looks a little embarrassed about having done so. That's 2-1 to the All-Stars. The Sun setting slowly on a memorable career. Oh, Lukas Podolski doesn't often miss penalties. Roman Weidenfeller saved a few in front of the yellow wall before. And that one's slightly reminiscent of a certain Robin penalty not so long ago. Big smiles from everybody involved. Even Peter Stöger enjoying that one, although his side just missed. Well, it looks like a free kick just outside the box, and uh, when it's your farewell game, you can pretty much do anything you like. Tim Visa doesn't want a wall. Well, this is interesting. Goalkeeper against goalkeeper. Well, I think Tim Visa was rather relieved that shot wasn't on target. What is he up to? Jurgen Klopp's not sure. Yes. Weidenfella again, he keeps getting way forward by Klopp. They're doing their best to play him in. Amoroso, still Amoroso, hits him offside. Weidenfella doesn't miss from there. It's not what he does for a living, but probably what he's been dreaming about for ages. He makes it 3-1. That's how you celebrate a goal. If he'd have been any further up the field, he'd have been back in goal. They love him here. Penalty from the rather charismatic Gunter Schmitz, who's wearing a wig. Not quite sure who exactly that is, but a good save. As they've come to expect from Roman Weidenfeller over the years. Keeping the score at 3-1 and earning Gunter Schmitz's praise. Good strong hand from Weidenfeller. Well, just like happened uh, back in the 2002-2003 season, it looks like Jan is going to have to go in goal. Because I think Roman Weidenfeller wants to get up front again and get amongst the goal-scoring action. He's going to use the gloves as well. Weidenfeller might have taken them off in this stadium for the last time. Here come the All-Stars once more, led by their new striker, the number nine, Weidenfeller. Oh, that looks like a penalty to me. Amoroso goes down under the challenge. And guess who's going to take it? They know. Roman Weidenfeller to make it four for the All-Stars. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Roman Weidenfeller, an absolute legend. 
a figurehead at Borussia Dortmund for 16 years. Roman Weidenfeller waves his last goodbye to the fans who so obviously want to repay him for his unfaltering loyalty and commitment. Two times Bundesliga champion, DFB Cup winner two years in a row, Champions League finalist and a member of the Germany 2014 World Cup winning squad. But most of all, for the yellow wall, he was one of theirs, a goalkeeper who will certainly be missed but will always be remembered.